Welcome to the Rich, Fit, and Happy podcast. I'm Crystal O'Connor, where we want to take you from drab to fab in this beautiful life. Let's go. Hello, this is Crystal O'Connor, your host. Welcome to the Rich, Fit, and Happy show. I want to sneak in an episode that is completely and totally specific to women in perimenopause or menopause. And here's why. There's a lot of talk out there about hormone imbalance. And I'm here to tell you, when your hormones are wacky or out of balance, whatever that means, right? You will have symptoms that will irritate your life. And it's confusing to top it off. So let me just point out a few really important tips that I have learned that I want to share with you ladies, because here's the thing, when you're building a business, you're trying to create more income and work on your financials in your business, and you're trying to look good because you're part of the marketing department, most of you, and you've got to put yourself out there and look good. And you have to have confidence. Like I'm here to tell you, there's one thing that is connected to all of that. And you know what it is? It's called estrogen. It seems to me that estrogen has been given a bad rap over the last eh, 20 years, and it probably shouldn't have been. So there was this study that was done, and I won't get into the details of the study, other than the study was not real accurate. I mean, it was a clinical study. It was done on women that were in their 70s. Why? I don't know. It doesn't make sense because women in perimenopause and menopause or 40s and 50s that are experiencing this really probably should have been listening to a clinical study that was done on them and that and their own age group. Am I right? Okay. So listen, estrogen is not bad. Estrogen is really good. In fact, the benefits are kind of outrageous. So when I say outrageous, I mean that in a good way. So there's just a lot of connections to so many things. So the benefits of estrogen are mostly the heart, the brain. Okay, so your body temperature adjusts, your memory function will be better, your libido, okay, will be adjusted. It protects your heart from cholesterol, it protects your liver, your bones, your skin. It's got an anti-aging effect. It'll protect your breasts. So your breasts get benefits. So why in the world it was ever given this bad rap really kind of stems from this study that was done on women that weren't even in their 40s and 50s, and it was not done correctly, and it wasn't accurate. So it scared everybody. But estrogen is the answer to a lot of symptoms. Now, yes, estrogen dominance is a thing. Okay, so estrogen needs to circulate throughout the body, but needs to move around. So one of the things you can do is start to move your body. And believe it or not, that helps move estrogen. You can increase your fiber and that will help estrogen move around. Okay, so estrogen in, estrogen out, estrogen in, estrogen out. So that's going to help and make a difference right there. There will also be a big change in your estrogen level as you enter menopause from perimenopause to menopause. And that is going to change your symptoms. Yay, right? (laughs) It doesn't sound fun. And guess what? It's not. But here's what I want to share with you. And this might blow your mind or be contradictory to everything you've heard, but you can actually reverse menopause. You can prevent it. I should say prevent it. You can do both. You can reverse it and prevent it, which means, yes, you could get your period for the rest of your life. Well, As far as I know and far as I've researched and I have a guest that I'm going to be bringing on soon that talks about that because she's actually taught doctors because a lot of doctors are not really educated in this department. Have you noticed, ladies? Have you noticed? Because what has been happening from the gals that I've talked to and read about and listened to, and I just, I mean, I took a deep dive on this because I was experiencing a lot of strange symptoms and it it was affecting my life, okay? It was affecting my bottom line. 
And if you can't sleep and you can't think and you can't lose weight and you're gaining weight and you don't know why and you don't have the energy to work out and you don't know what to eat and it seems like every time you put something in your mouth, you gain 10 pounds. I mean, are you with me? So here's the thing. If you're experiencing all the things, it could very well be because your estrogen is not at optimal level. So one of the things I'm going to suggest is that you get some labs done and you start to look at your options after that and you start to find out what your estrogen levels are and what they should be and start to get more estrogen moving around in your body because it's going to help you. It's going to help you in a lot of ways. So one of the things that you have to understand and for many of you, this is just a reminder that your ovaries are going to lose eggs. Okay. We start losing eggs the minute that we're born and we lose 97% of them by the time we're done with menopause. Well, by the time we're at menopause, I should say, this is going to blow your mind. You lose 90% of your eggs by the time you're 30. Okay. So you're losing eggs and you're losing estrogen because your, your ovaries don't have any more eggs to offer up, and therefore, you don't need the estrogen, is what your ovaries are thinking. Your, your body is low on estrogen, and you can actually get that back. Now, some of you might think, well, why would I want a period back? Well, I'm here to tell you that you shouldn't really have bad periods. If you are having bad periods or are having bad periods, it's because your estrogen is off. There are a lot of reasons why your levels could be off, but it's not normal to have PMS. I think that that is a programming that happened over time. We were just programmed, us ladies, we were programmed to believe or think that periods are just bad. Well, guess what? They're not supposed to be. If your hormones are balanced properly. Now, for those of you that were taking the birth control pill, it affected your hormones. There are a lot of things that affect hormones, our food, stress level, our sleep. So I'm here to tell you, you need to get your labs done. If you have a lot of the symptoms that I was experiencing, and then some migraines, first of all, I wasn't getting migraines, but a lot of women do get migraines. That is a symptom. Inability to sleep or inability to get to sleep, having low energy, needing caffeine throughout the day just to keep going, inability to think straight or think the way you used to, not as sharp minded. Okay, that's a symptom. And no, it's not all in your head, no pun intended. <laughs> it's it's a thing. Okay. So if you're going to a doctor or your family practice doctor is telling you that it's all in your mind and writes you a prescription for an antidepressant. But by the way, depression is a big, big symptom of imbalanced hormones. And who wants to live in misery? I don't. So go get your hormones balanced, at least get your labs and start to look at what your options are to get your estrogen levels up. You shouldn't have to live this way, okay? And if you are one, like I've experienced not being able to gain muscle and retain muscle and get really anything <laughs> for my workouts. I mean, sometimes I feel good, but I don't get the same results. If you have belly fat, if you've gained weight and you can't seem to lose a pound without really feeling like you're, you know, starving yourself. That is a very big sign that you're low estrogen, okay? So belly fat's a, also a big sign of it tends to be in your mid section, okay? Your skin looking not so great and you don't know why. Estrogen affect a lot of things. So that I wanted to make this short and sweet today and let you know that in my program, Rich, Fit, and Happy, I have found the perfect person. Her name is Marie. I have found the perfect person to share some of these really important facts from research, backed up by research, and about what you're going through. We have answers, is what I'm saying. So in Rich, Fit, and Happy, we're going to talk about money and income and your business, yes, but we're also going to talk about the fit part. How do we stay fit? 
beyond 50, beyond 40? How do we do that? Well, one of the things I just shared with you on this podcast, and that is to get your estrogen level at the appropriate levels for you. And there are people that can help you do that without confusing you beyond (laughs) belief. I mean, it is so frustrating, isn't it? I mean, you can have 20 symptoms, which by the way, one of the symptoms I had, which was so annoying, was heart palpitations. I did really alleviate a lot of that with magnesium, but getting your estrogen at optimal levels will help tremendously. Selenium is a mineral that will help tremendously. So I'm giving you some tidbits, write these things down and go and consider taking them. Okay. So getting the vitamins, the minerals, the nutrition, your macros, by the way, it's going to be really, really hard for you to lose weight and get your estrogen where it needs to be as a vegan. I know for some of you, you didn't want to hear that. You might've just cut me off and you don't want to ever speak to me again, but I'm here to tell you, you need protein It's going to help you. It's going to make your life easier and it's going to help you balance your hormones and make you feel a lot better. So like I said, this is short and sweet, but it's really important that we talk about this topic because if you don't feel good, you don't have the confidence, you're not going to be able to raise your income. There is a connection with your confidence, your ability to connect with people and your hormones. And we're going to get your hormones balanced and rich, fit, and happy. We're going to get your income up and we're going to get you focused and confident so that the next year you are sitting in a whole new place, sitting in a whole new place. Join Rich, Fit, and Happy. Go to richfitandhappy.com and find out more.